everyone, welcome to Love to Create by Tanya. Well, today I'm gonna to be working on three spring and summer farmhouse decor pieces. Let's go ahead and get started. For DIY number one, I'm gonna be taking this crate box that I found at Goodwill, and I'm gonna be putting one of the fresh flower market signs on the inside. I actually found this stencil at Hobby Lobby. Now I found this contact paper at Walmart the other day and it's $5.97 a roll and I thought it would be a really fun idea to start covering some of my projects on the back side with this, especially on a design like this where you can flip it over and use it as a table riser. Now you can see I'm just taking some of that truffle chalk paint and I'm going to water it down a little bit to lighten up the stain color and I'm just going to cover the whole box in this color and you could paint this black or white or any color that you would like I just happen to be using this color because I think I'm going to use this one on my front porch and I actually have a cedar sided home so I thought this would look really good Now I'm just going to place my contact paper on there and I didn't use any extra glue on that but you could if you were worried about it holding. And you can see how neat that made this little box look. It's going to make the perfect riser. Now on the inside of the box I'm just going to use this fresh flower market stencil that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm going to add just a couple of those little succulent magnets that I just recently purchased from Dollar Tree. I did end up taking the magnet out of these and I thought that I would save those for a, another project. And then I used some of that white cotton twine that I found at Dollar Tree a couple months ago. I've not been able to find any more of that in the last little bit. Now I'm going to take my glue stick and you can get those of course in a pack at Dollar Tree and that just helped the rope stick to the plastic a little bit better as I was wrapping it around. Now I'm going to do something different with my stencil. Instead of using paint I decided just to try to use a colored pencil and it made a really light tone and then I took a little lighter color and I really just did that because I wanted to see what it would look like and give me a different option and I knew that it would be easy to paint over if I wanted to switch this box out and use it in the fall but I did decide that I wanted it a little bit brighter so I just took my chalk marker that I purchased at Dollar Tree and just went over the lettering to brighten it up a little bit and I think it turned out great. You'll have to let me know what you think of this one in the comments below. Now I did just take that thin piece of rope twine and put on the back. That way it wouldn't interfere when I used it as a riser. But here's our finished sign slash riser. Now for DIY number two. I absolutely love this design. These are the slingshots from Dollar Tree. Definitely pick a few of these up. They make perfect table legs. And what I used to hold them together was just some of the narrow dowel rods that they also carry at Dollar Tree. Now I'm gonna be using this wood board that I picked up at Goodwill, but you could also use one of the plastic trays from Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna take my drill and just drill some holes for the dial rods to sit in. And this is a very hard plastic, so you definitely will probably need a drill to do this. And then I just used my hammer, tapped those in there, and I thought I was gonna get by with just the one, but that's when I realized it needed a little more support in the middle, so I ended up adding the other dowel rod where that fork is in the slingshot. But once I got this together, it was so sturdy. I mean, you could actually set a potted plant on it and it would hold it up just fine. And I plan on making a few more of these and maybe painting them in different colors. It just turned out great. And you can tell when I added that second dowel rod that that really give it enough support to make it sturdy. 
Now I decide just to try to put this together with some screws. So I'm going to go ahead and drill my pilot hole into the wood, which I'm sure you'll have to do the same thing if you do use one of the plastic plates from Dollar Tree. But isn't this a fun design? I mean, it was a neat way to make one of the little plant stands and I'm actually going to do a little bench maybe out of this and it's just a great little staple piece to display our items on. Now I decided just to paint mine with that truffle brown because I'm going to be using some of the cardstock paper from Hobby Lobby that has the wood grain on there. And I'm just going to apply that to the top of my bench and then I end up putting several layers of Mod Podge wood glue but the finish come out great. I think I actually started out with the school glue then the Mod Podge and then the wood glue. So it works. I know that because I tried it and you'll see here in a moment the finish turned out like I said really nice on this one. Well everyone you'll have to let me know what you think of our plant stand made out of the slingshots. And like I said you'll have to let me know if you're going to give this one a try. Now for DIY number three I'm going to take this tin tray that I found at our local restore and I'm just going to repurpose it and add this sweet summertime stencil on here and I did this one in really fun colors and I just love this old tray. It was a little difficult getting those peaches off of there but I finally did succeed on that. Now these stencils I had purchased those on Amazon and I'm going to leave a link to those below. They were just a little over seven dollars and something and look how many different stencils you get in this pack. And I just thought it was a great deal. So like I said, you will find a link to that in the description below. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is definitely scrape off that old peach paper and clean everything up really well. And then I'm going to go ahead and use that French linen chalk paint again. And I just wanted to pull this color in because I'm really liking the way this looks with my home decor this year. I don't know if any of you have ever seen those little trays there that I have my paint on. I just picked that up the other day in the school section at Dollar Tree. And it's just a neat little tray that you can pour your paint out on and you can actually once it hardens just peel it right off or rinse it off and it's just a neat little tray that keeps everything kind of organized for you while you're working. Now I did end up putting a few coats of that chalk paint and then I just kind of scuffed it up a little bit with some sandpaper. And now I'm going to take that sweet summertime stencil that was in the pack that I was telling you about from Amazon. I am going to cut off that anchor and use it in a different DIY. Now I'm going to take these little floral stickers that I found at Hobby Lobby and they are kind of like the little window clings and they work really well. But this I wanted to have a lot of like bright fun summery colors so I decided to use all these different colors on here. And I love how this turned out. It's going to be just a neat little serving tray or just a tray that you could set up on a shelf or you could even hang it up if you like. Now I am going to use some of the paint for this design and I decided to use a foliage green acrylic paint. And I just really like that green color and I just thought that would be a real summery feel to this because it reminds me so much of the green grass. Well everyone, I hope you have enjoyed today's DIYs and if so, I would love it if you give me a thumbs up for this video and I would like to say thank you to all of my subscribers and welcome all of my new subscribers. 
Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my little beads after I Mod Podge and let that dry and I'm just going to go around the inside. Now I really liked it this way with the light natural tones and then I decided to go ahead and add just a little bit of that stain on at the end really just because I'm a crafter and I could <laughs> but you'll have to let me know which one you like better do you like it in the natural tone or do you like it with a little dusting of that truffle stain on there well this is finishing up our DIYs for today so everyone I hope you have a wonderful week next week and a great Memorial Day weekend coming up and lots of hugs and love to each and every one of you out there I'll see you the next time.